Hello. Hey, Sean. Hey. How's it going? Good. Hey, Sean. Good to see you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good to see you, man. So, guys, your upcoming album, Chill, is scheduled for September 10th. So, can you tell me a bit about the songwriting and production behind the scene? Do you want, do you want to fill that one, Sean? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, so, we actually finished recording uh, this album back in, uh, I think it was like February last year, mm -hmm. um, just before the, the pandemic hit. Um, little do we know, we'd have to wait nearly 18 months to release it after that. Um, but I suppose 2018, we, we spent a long time sort of um, writing all, all the tracks and getting a group of songs together that we thought would be best uh, on the album. Um, there was a few that didn't quite make it um, as well, which was good. But uh, yeah, we spent two weeks in a studio locally mm. here and um, yeah, nutted it out. And this is what we have. <laughs> mm. Yeah. A lot, of pre, a lot of pre pro with it. We spent a lot of time just making sure we could get in and get the most out of our time. In the studio. Sounds good. Sounds good. And yeah. can you tell me a bit about the cover art and the concept behind the album? Uh, well, the, the Doom, the Doom Cock came about, about in an interesting way. Um, originally, we tried to create a logo. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I'll send you an early version if you like, where it was like a gutter with a flame in it. Yeah. Uh, and then I can't remember how, but someone was like, oh, if you turn it upside down, it kind of looks like a rooster. <laughs> then someone said the word, oh, the doomcock. And we're like, oh, the doomcock, that's cool. But then we turned it into a rooster. But it was a bit more abstract. And then eventually we're like, we need like a proper doomcock. So that's our new logo. He's basically like, you know, um, our version of Eddie from Iron Maiden. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, so, yeah, he, he just felt like, I don't know, he kind of embodies everything about us. So we're like, let's just make him the album cover of it. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much. We, I, think, I think originally we were actually contemplating calling our band Doomcock. Doomcock, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that was definitely one of the things that we thought. No, nah, that um, might sort of people might automatically think what we are. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. So, is it just uh, random songs that you just wrote, or did you guys put up a concept or theme behind this album? Nah, it's definitely just a, a collection of songs, I mm -hmm. think. Like, all the songs sort of um, match together and that sort of thing. Um, like, there's no odd one out or anything like that. They were just all written around the same time over a course of a year or so. Yeah. But yeah I, I, unless there's a concept in the lyrics, Kev. <laughs> well, I think musically it's just the sound of a band finding themselves um, and, and finding a way to connect all the different styles we like together in a way that yeah. still sounds all, all the time like us. And I think we did that. Um, but yeah, I, like, lyrically, there's a, there's, I guess there's an overarching apocalyptic theme, which is interesting because it was before the apocalypse happened. Yeah. But um, uh, yeah, it, you know, it's... it's um, it ties together nicely, but it's not its not a concept album, no. Mm. Sounds, yeah. good, sounds good. And on July 15th, you guys released your single and the video for I'll Be Long. So can you tell mm -hmm. me a bit about the video? Uh, yeah, so we, we worked on our last clip um, with this guy, Clint Lewis from Red Tape Pictures, and um, we liked some of the artists he'd worked with, um, some really great Australian artists like UMI and um, uh, the Tea Party from Canada. And... Um, uh, so yeah, and I've no, I've just known him since we were like twelve or thirteen or something, and um, he came along, and it was like a complex clip with puppets, and we had to hire a venue, and we had to get people in, um, and puppeteers and all that sort of stuff. But it was just it was it was actually the most painless film clip we've ever done. Um, so we after that, and we, he just made such a great film clip out of it. We, we decided to trust him, and this was more his concept. Mm -hmm. um, we gave him sort of a vague outline about what the song was about, and um, yeah, uh, we. Uh, our bass player has basically a venue in his basement with a stage and a bar and urinals. And then, uh, so we just did all the performance shots there in a, in a single day. And then he went away and did the rest of the stuff um, for, the, for the clip and brought it back to us. I think we had one slight change and that was it when, it, yeah. um, when he gave it back to us. Yeah, he had a full creation over that. Like, um, didn't even tell us what was going on. <laughs> <laughs> just, just gave him all, uh, all the... Uh, right so yeah yeah this sort of said so long as it uh, communicates with this kind of vibe and he was like yep got it 
Yeah. And not like I've said before, not everyone gets us. And so when someone does, it's really nice and we stick with them. Yeah. I think um, one thing I've sort of noticed, I don't think we even sort of try to do it, but we always try and give artists like either the visual ones or, or the guys that like to draw, you know, it's lots of opportunity to work with us, um, try and engage in local artists all the time and that sort of stuff. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah we, we like to not we not like to not micromanage them when they're doing that we just give them the idea and let them run yeah yeah sounds good sounds good and since the things are getting back to normal slowly so what would be the plans for touring yeah um we're about to drop it to uh um pretty soon we're just sort of waiting on a, on a few things um mainly the tour poster art <laughs> um but yeah, we're going to do a run of shows in Australia, um, down the East Coast, you know, like Sydney, Melbourne, um, Brisbane, and a bunch of regional shows as well. Um, so yeah, just sort of waiting for that to happen. At the moment, yeah. New South Wales and Sydney's in really bad lockdown, like yeah. they can't leave their house. <laughs> um, so fingers crossed. So I think our tour was slated for like starting around October. Uh, October. Yeah, 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 sort of. Last date will be in early December. Yeah. yeah. Um, obviously, we, we didn't have a love to go overseas, but yeah, it's just we're actually not allowed to leave as Australian citizens unless you're, you know, rich and famous. So we're not there yet. <laughs> or, or if you play sport. Um, yeah. We, we, yeah, we did actually, unfortunately, have a tour throughout August, but um, uh, with the outbreak, the most recent outbreak, that's that's been postponed, obviously. It's a little, little hard to tour in these times. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. And how has the journey of music been for you guys for so long? Um, like the band, like just this band or in general? <laughs> just the, with, with Gutter Fire. <laughs> with Gutter Fire. Good, good. Positive. Um, everyone works hard at the songs um, and takes them seriously. And um, I know for myself, I've really pushed myself more vocally than i have in any other project i've been in mm -hmm. uh, mostly because i was intimidated by how good the other guys are mm -hmm. um so uh, uh, but I'm, uh, it's been very personally satisfying for me um and um i think the band works really well together and makes good music so that's always a plus creatively um we sort of don't deny each other chances to bring stuff up so like we're always willing to try each other's ideas um mm -hmm. you know to bring better value and you know we do um we're very very honest with each other so you know if if one of us is you know not performing at the best or you know isn't quite getting there with a you know a particular song like we'll really focus together and, and pull it aside you know just to try and get the best you know possible uh performance that we can so yeah yeah i think yeah just being really honest with each other and uh just setting goals you know that's that's what we've been doing the last couple of years and it's been working well so far yeah yeah Sounds good, sounds good. And would you like, guys, would you like to share some of the great moments that you had over the years? The great moments? Well, there's been a few. <laughs> we like we like a beer. Um, <laughs> so we, yeah. we like to have a party around our shows, especially if we're going out of town to somewhere else, you know, we'll get a hotel and um, get to know the locals and um, hang out there. Um, I'm trying to think of a standout one. Yeah, probably some of the bigger venues around Brisbane um, that we've played, uh, like supporting some of the bigger Australian artists. Um, yeah. It's probably been my... So there's a this guy's called Electric Mary. Um, yeah, no. yeah they're, they're like... In, they're from Melbourne. Um, and yeah, they're, they're quite very, very talented guys. They're, they're a lot older, like uh, they're probably in their like 40s, 50s and that sort of thing. But... um. Yeah, they can definitely school us young guys <laughs> yeah. on it. But, you know, like when you, you play to a crowd of a couple hundred people, you know, at a, at a, at a larger venue, you know, that sort yeah. of stuff just it's ingrained in your, in your memory. It's some cool stuff. So we've managed to be able to do that a couple of times, which has been really good. I think, I think we're increasingly um, supporting bigger bands and like bands that we admire as well. So yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, that that's nice to, to show a stage with them and just I, I guess the uh, the same gig would be for me because the zoo where we played um you know a lot of my favorite artists have stood on that stage um yeah. it, was, it was very nice 
So to put it in perspective, like the zoos, like I think it's been around since the what the mid nineties, Kev, I think, yeah. in Brisbane. So it's like it's a Brisbane like must play for any any Brisbane band. And then like, you know, anyone and everyone's played there at some point internationally. Like yeah. um yeah, you know, I've seen Clutch there, I've seen um oh, bunch of metal bands and stuff I can't remember everything yeah. but yeah, yeah it's a lot of bands mm. so how has the reach been on a global level so far um really increased with this last single um you know we're not we're not uh famous but we're um we've, we've noticed with this latest single um and, and you know obviously it was the build-up to that we've worked quite hard a little lull in the middle because of um virus but um yeah, it's starting to pick up, especially Canada, US, UK, yeah, um, and New Zealand, um, which you know we want to we want to hop over the pond at some point when we can and go go over there. Yeah. I think that'll probably be the first place we'll be able to travel once we can. That'd be awesome. And what would be the dream for you guys? Um, um, top twenty in a couple of countries, maybe. Yeah. Um, a <laughs> <laughs> uh, couple of world tours. That'd be nice. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we, we, we want a tour um, uh, and we just really enjoy what we do and we really enjoy when other people enjoy it. So um, it, it, I think for more than anything, it would just be getting to share that feeling with other people, um, with large groups of people and people in other countries and traveling a bit. Um, yeah, I mean, I, th I think that's what we most get out of it. We're all, we're all here because we want to be here and we enjoy what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. And if you guys want to go on tour with one band around the world, what would that band be? Uh, Sean? <laughs> uh, uh, obviously, like, the big bands are some of the good ones. But, um, no, nah, probably probably bands like Red Fang, um, yeah. like Graveyard. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that sort of stuff. Like, yeah, that will be fun. Uh, um, we all we all, the one band that really unites us all is Queens of the Stone Age too. I think, I'm sure that would be fun. Yeah. Um, and uh, personally, I'd love to do a few shows with Faith No More. I think that would be fun. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, talking about the songwriting, so do you guys stick to a particular theme or or a concept around, or you go you're gonna write anything that comes into your mind? Um, uh, yeah, pretty much anyone can, like, so on the album, um, I wrote one song, the bass player wrote a song, um, the guitarist wrote the, uh, the rest, Clay uh, didn't write any songs on it, but he, he's very active and, and a very active participant in the songwriting, and once the song is in the group, we're all throwing ideas around, so it's very, very collective and collaborative. Normally, uh, one of us will just come in with the riffs, you know, and then yeah. um, we'll start building on it from there, um, and then once you've got the, the sort of like the basics down um that's when you start really working on the production you know just finding those like little little things so you know to drop a little note in here or you know you might want to um do some harmonies and in, in this spot or something like that and just just lift it and lift it and just work on it like that yeah yeah we're, we're, we spend a we'll spend a long time on just you know one well a couple of seconds of one riff if we have to with yeah. you know a, as the other guitarist in particular he's he's very he hears every little detail um yeah. we'll work on like a half note for <laughs> for an hour if we have to but then you know once we get through that and it's it's never like super painful we, we managed to get through it but once, once we get through it um the song is just epic and you know we can play it more easily on stage we don't have to think about it it's well rehearsed we know every little nook and cranny of the song um as much as it might not i mean I, it definitely comes across tight but i don't know if it comes across the level of detail that we tend to go into on every song that's good we want to make it sound effortless so probably not you know so uh, what would you like to say about gutter fire to the people who have not listened to the band before I'm interested in Sean's answer on this one. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, look, I think we're quite accessible uh, for fans of, you know, like anything from rock and roll up to, you know, some of the heavier stuff. Um, yeah. You know, just give us a chance. Uh, listen yeah. to the first couple of songs of the album. Hopefully you like something. So. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think um, so the, the album's kind of diverse, but it's definitely got... Um, 
we def- our strength is definitely in that sort of stone or doom, uh, doom rock sort of. That's the through line through all the all the stuff that we do. Um, so definitely, definitely fans of that. But uh, you know, um, I think there's something a little bit different to how we do it. People do tell us that, and I think it's that we all come from different musical backgrounds, different life backgrounds. But with the, with that through line, yeah. and with everyone throwing out ideas and all the time, the, the, you know, it's greater than the sum of its parts. Yeah, yeah. That's good. And uh, guys, finally, what would be the message for Gunfire fans? Uh, thank you for being patient. Um, <laughs> yeah. uh, it's finally coming. We're only a bit over a month away now, um, and we will get uh, we will get at least across the east coast and and do as much as we can from there. Yeah. Um, there's lots and lots of new music coming. Keep an eye on our socials uh, for pre-sales and stuff. We've got our vinyl coming, um, which is awesome. Never thought I'd ever get to put an album on vinyl, uh, plus, you know, just regular traditional mechanisms like the CDs. Um, and I suppose, like, you know, we, we've nearly written our second album. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, look out next year as well. Yeah. Sounds, sounds good. And guys, thank you so much for the time you have given me today. And thank you so thank much you. for that. And thank you thank so you. much for the music you have been giving to the world. It's absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And you have a good day ahead. Bye bye. You too. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you. You Cheers. Too. Bye bye.